Hey friends, it's Melissa here with the Snuggle Bugs team and I am stoked to be reviewing the best booster seats of 2024 with you today. So we are going to be going through some harness to booster seats, high back booster seats, and some high back to backless booster seats. Now, let's kick things off by talking a bit about why your child needs a booster seat. So ultimately it comes down to needing a booster seat because you need to get that proper placement of your vehicle seatbelt over their lap and shoulder. Um, as your child is growing, you know, when they are still in that pre preteen phases, they're not quite tall enough to, so that the belt won't properly lay over them. So when you are using a booster seat that helps to elevate them a bit in the seat, it also helps to ensure that you've got a belt guide to get that proper placement of your shoulder belt. So that is the number one reason. Also with the booster seat though, you're getting some really great safety features built in. You're typically getting a steel core, you're getting side impact protection, adjustable headrest, you're getting cup holders. So there's a bunch of additional safety and convenience features that have been built into these booster seats to really optimize your child's comfort in the vehicle as they're, you know, growing up and slowly getting ready to ultimately reach that stage of being able to sit in a regular vehicle seatbelt all on their own. I can't, I can't even think about it. <laughs> okay, so let's now chat about what a harness to booster seat is. So a harness to booster seat is exactly that. It is a seat that starts out harnessed in forward facing mode and can transition into a booster seat. So that means the harness gets tucked in behind, the install changes slightly so that ultimately your child can use the vehicle seatbelt as they're older to secure themselves in the vehicle. Now, who does a harness to booster seat make sense for? That makes sense for somebody who, let's say you've got a four-year-old and you know, you've got a one-year-old who's getting ready for their convertible car seat. Maybe your four-year-old isn't quite ready to go into a booster seat yet. And, but they're also, you know, they're just in their forward facing convertible. So you don't really wanna buy a second convertible seat necessarily. So in this case, a harness to booster often makes a lot of sense because then your younger child can adopt the convertible seat for their rear facing needs. And then your older child can uh, move into the harness to booster seat, which allows them to stay harnessed in that forward facing position for longer until they're 65 pounds. And then once they do reach those height and weight limits and they are ready and maturity wise as well to move into a booster mode, you tuck that harness in behind. So this helps you extend the longevity of a harnessed seat while still getting all of the benefits of a booster seat. Now, a high back to backless booster seat is same, same, but different. It's, you know, high back to backless, meaning it starts as a high back seat, but then you can actually remove the back of the seat so that your child, as they're in the very final stages of needing a booster seat, can just be sitting on that seat cushion. So I'll show you a couple of examples of those in a minute, but without further ado, Today we're going to be reviewing the Britax Grow With You Click Tight Tarnus to Booster, the Nuna Royal, the Upper Baby Alta, the Peg Perigo Viaggio Shuttle Plus 120, the Clec Uber, the Nuna Ace, and the Britax High Point. So let's dive in. So let's take a look at two of the top selling harness to booster seats here at Snuggle Bugs, the Nuna Royal and the Britax Grow With You Click Tight. Now, both of these seats can be used in forward facing mode until your child is 65 pounds or 49 inches tall, and they can both be used in um, booster mode until your child is 120 pounds or with the Royal 57 inches tall with the Britax 63 inches tall. They both have that five point harness that's going to just tuck in behind the frame once your child reaches that forward facing convertible car seat maximum of 65 pounds or 49 inches. You're just gonna tuck that harness back um, to have your child use the vehicle seat belt. I loosen the harness here so that you can actually see the Royal has a really great eight point harness height adjustment um, and your harness will automatically rethread as you increase that height. Now on the Britax, you also have a 
nine point no rethread harness. So both seats, as you can see, can definitely accommodate your child as they grow. I will say with the Britax, I think you get an extra inch or so of shoulder space. So if that's a consideration for you, definitely a factor to keep in mind. Both of these seats have um, cup holders and with the Britax, you're getting a cup and snack holder on both sides. I love with the Nuna how they can just pop out and pop down, which is a nice feature. You're also getting adjustable calf support with your Nuna Royal, plus you're getting a um, four different recline positions here on the side. You're just gonna press that button to adjust the recline of the seat. It's not a crazy recline, but it does help to ensure that your seat um, really gets that optimal contour and fit with your vehicle seat. Taking a look at some of the safety features of these seats, both have side impact protection. So with your Nuna Royal, you see you've got these pods on the side here. And with the Britax Grow With You, you're getting two layers of side impact protection with this seat. Both have a steel core frame. They both have a top tether. And with the Britax tether, you are getting their patented V-shaped tether, which is designed to release stitching at a lower rate in the event of a collision to really help to absorb some of those um, collision forces. You're also getting your um, safe cell technology in the base. That is another great Britax safety feature as well as their click tight installation, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's take a quick look at the install um, in harness mode and then how to tuck that harness in behind the frame so that you're using your seat um, and installing in booster mode. So the installs on these seats in both harness and booster mode is quite similar. So I'll show you one of each, but also be sure to check out our individual YouTube videos on both of these products to get a more in-depth per product install. So taking a look at this Nuna Royal, first up, I'm just going to release the harness because I will need to get back in behind that seat there. I'm also gonna give myself some extra slack. Then I'm going to open up this seat back and open up this tension door. So while I'm back here, I will mention this is also where you would be storing the harness when you move into booster mode. So this purple area shows you how to store the harness. But for now, we are using the harness and we're going to be installing in forward facing. So we're just going to feed the harness through our belt path at the back of the seat. That's clearly identified. We'll push through underneath this true tension door and then out the other side, plugging the seatbelt in and then releasing any excess slack. Then we're going to close our true tension door until we hear a click. There we go. And then you would place your seat back. You really want to make sure you take out any additional tension. And then we are going to attach the tether to the back of the seat. So we've got the tether here that I'm going to pull over my um, headrest and just attach to the back of the seat. You always want to have your tether attached for both of these harness to booster seats. So let's now install the Britex Grow With You in booster mode. So I've already gone about tucking the harness in behind the seat and now your child will be using the vehicle seat belt to um, secure themselves in the car. So you'll use your latch install for this. So first I'm going to open up my click tight door here. Then I'm going to um, release these latches in the bottom portion of the seat belt here. And you're going to feed your latches through the same belt path that you would use for that forward facing install. So we'll go through both sides. And then you'll want to ensure that you are removing any excess slack before you uh, close your click tight door. Again, we've got our tether already installed. So at this point, you're just going to ensure that your vehicle seatbelt is set up so that it will go through this forward facing belt path at the top here to ensure that you're getting that proper fit over your child's shoulder and then they are ready to buckle themselves into their booster seat. This is the Appa Baby Alta High Back Booster Seat. So this seat can accommodate a child up to 100 pounds or 57 inches tall. You've got seven different head breast height positions here, which is fabulous. You get such a tall little one in there. 
and you've got multiple layers of side impact protection. So you've got this really nice um, cushioning with the headrest as well as these side impact pods on the side here. I do really love that they have a lat positioning belt with this seat so that again, you know, we've got our shoulder belt guides, but it's nice to also have a lat belt guide just to ensure that you're really getting that proper positioning of your child's seat belts. The zip, um, this bottom piece of the seat also zips off. So if your child has any accidents or spills, that um, really makes it really easy to throw in the wash. You've also got a cup holder that can be used on either side of the seat as well as your two armrests. Now, let's take a quick look at the install of this seat. You've just got the rigid latch down here. We're going to release just by pulling on this recline up front. Then we will connect these latches into the bottom anchors on our seat. You'll see the indicator turn to green when you're properly um, connected. Then we're going to, again, just push this recline back in to tighten that fit with your seat. Then you will just um, route your vehicle seat belt through this shoulder and lap belt so that your child can jump into their booster seat and be ready to buckle themselves in. This is the Peg Perigo Viaggio 120 Plus High Back Booster Seat. So this seat, it looks small and compact now, but it can actually grow so that it can accommodate your child until they are 120 pounds or up to 63 inches tall. Let me show you this 4D adjustment. So you can increase the height of your headrest support. You can pop out your side walls. You can increase the height of your backrest. And then you can actually recline the seat into different positions to really customize the fit of the seat for your child. Another thing that I love about this seat as I pull it down and in is that you can actually fold it in half which is a really great option for storage or traveling so there's just this little tab in the back that you're going to pull on and then flip the seat over just like that now let's take a look at the install of this seat so we're just going to reach into the base here to release our rigid latches we'll pop over to our vehicle seat you'll connect your rigid latches in and those will um, have a little indicator that will turn green when they are properly installed there. And then you will just push your latches back in so that you are getting the proper install with your vehicle. Then when you're using this seat with your little big one, you'll just want to route your vehicle seat belts um, through this belt path here. So this is the Peg Perigo Viaggio 120 Plus High Back Booster Seat. So this is the Britax High Point. This is a high back to backless booster seat. It can accommodate a child to 120 pounds or up to 63 inches tall. There is 10 different adjustments in this headrest. Look at how tall this goes, this is wild. You've got multiple layers of side impact protection. You've got safe wash fabric, so these can be machine wash and dried. Um, I mentioned the side impact protection. You've got your multiple armrests here and your removable cup holders that are easy to throw in the wash. You've also got this lap belt positioning, um, which we really like. And this, <laughs> let me show you how to turn this into a backless booster. Now, it's a little loud and it does sound like you're breaking the seat, but rest assured, this is exactly how it works and you will not break the seat. So first you're gonna position it. I like to position it on the edge of something. I'll move this table a bit so you can get a side view. I like to position it on the edge and I kind of like to kneel on it a little bit just to give myself a bit of support. Then we're going to crank the back of this seat. It's gonna make a loud noise. And that is how you remove the seat back. Now, let me put it back on for you so that you won't freak out that you've broken your seat. It's gonna be the same mechanism. And there we go. So that is how you turn your Britax High Point from a high back to a backless. Now you're going to install this in your vehicle using their latch system. So you can get a better view on this side. So your latches are stored in back here and we're just going to press on this red button to release them on both sides. We will plug into our vehicle. You can see that you use the latch in both high back and backless mode. 
plug these into our vehicle. And then on the other side here where we initially released them, I would then use that belt to, to tension the latches to make sure that I have a secure install. Now, just like all of our other seats, you're going to ensure that you've got your um, booster in the proper position for your child, feed your vehicle seat belt through here and your lap belt portion. Now, this is a great opportunity to mention, as you can see at the side here, the back of our booster seat is touching the vehicle headrest. If you feel that there is interference in the back of the seat and the headrest, let's say I was up here and it was creating, um, changing the angle of the seat, you would actually want to, in that case, remove your vehicle headrest to ensure that there is no, um, no interference between the seats. So that is the Britax High Point High Back to Backless Booster Seat. So this is the Nuna Ace High Back to Backless Booster Seat. So this seat in high back mode can accommodate a child up to 110 pounds or 60 inches and in backless mode can accommodate a child up to 120 pounds or 60 inches. Let me quickly show you how that back to backless adjustment goes. I again like to just lean uh, a knee on the seat just to give myself a bit of leverage. You really don't need to do this, um, but you're just going to pop the back down and then it actually just comes right off the seat like that. And then to put it back on is really just as easy. You're just gonna attach it to the back of the frame, tilt the seat back up, and you're ready to go in high back mode. So I love how easy that transition is. With this seat, they have a really great 3D adjustment to the um, harness height and the shoulder width of the seat. So as I pull up the shoulder height, you can, or the harness height, the headrest height. You can see that my shoulder width also increases, which is really cool. You can see here we've got our standard belt guides um, for the shoulder belt up top. We've also got some great ventilation panels built into the back and to the side of the seat to really maximize that airflow for your babe. Then we've also got side impact um, pods. So ultimately, whatever side of the vehicle the seat is installed in, you will pop open this side impact pod to um, just give your babe that extra side impact protection. Now this seat also has a really cool adjustable kind of, you can just adjust the base of the seat to really optimize for your child's comfort. And the seat boasts up to eight recline positions for your babe. So to do that, you're actually going to pop out your rigid latch for the install. And then as you're installing this in the vehicle, you can see how by adjusting the position of this, your child's seat would have different um, levels of recline. I will quickly show you this install because it is super simple. So we've already got our latches popped out. We're just going to connect them to the lower latches in our vehicle seat. And then you can see that as I change this recline, we kind of change the angle of the seat and you can really set that to the comfort of your child. The Nuna Ace also does come with a removable cup holder that can be used on either side of the seat. And then per usual, you're just going to feed your vehicle seat belt through the um, shoulder belt guide, and then your belt will path at the bottom will go over the lap there. And that is the Nuna Ace. This is the Kleck Uber high back to backless seat. So this seat can be used to accommodate a child up to 100 pounds or 57 inches tall. Now to transition this seat from a high back to a backless booster, you're just gonna pull on this tab here to release the back of the seat. And then the side comes out and you pull out the other side and you would be in a backless booster now. Now to put this back on, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're going to just put one side back in the frame, put your other side back in, hear that click, and you're ready to rock. Now, this seat is really cool and it's really loved by so many families because this actually looks quite like a vehicle seat. So for families who have children that really, you know, have that want that maturity feeling they want to feel like they're part of the vehicle seat um, that's one of the reasons that people love the uber the other reason people love the uber is the safety features so they have their standard magnesium steel frame built into this you've got really deep sidewalls multiple layers of um, side impact protection with really intense foam here 
You've also got a removable drink thingy that can be used on either side of the seat. You've got armrests um, and you've got a multi-position recline adjustment. So let me quickly show you the install of this seat using the same rigid latches as we use with pretty much all of our booster seats. Now we're just going to plug one side in and the other and then we'll adjust this recline base. So ultimately the reason that all of the seats that we discussed today have a rigid latch or seatbelt install for the harness to boosters is because really I, in ideal state you want to be connecting your booster seat to the vehicle because that prevents it from becoming a projectile in the event of a collision, especially in the event that your child isn't actually in the vehicle. This thing, you don't want it flying around your car, so the rigid latch just helps to ensure that your booster is secured to your vehicle seat. And that, my friends, is the Clack Uber. So there we have the best booster seats of 2024. Now, I know you're probably sticking around for the Snuggle Bugs Award ceremony, but because we went through three categories within the boosters, we really showed you the best of the best within each category. So harness to booster seats, high back to backless booster seats, and high back seats. Really what it's going to